have been watching some shows about beaches around the world. Popular vacation and party spots. People are boating and sunbathing and surfing. Girls in bikinis. People are drinking and going to clubs and dancing and things like that. And, you know, they are relaxing, they're having fun. Girls are smiling, uh, different things like that. And then I was thinking about something religion puts out, supposedly that's out of the Bible, which is literal and true, etc. That there are wicked angels, demons, on the earth, manipulating mankind, ruling the entire earth, causing evil everywhere. And I look at this scene right here, I have it on mute, and people are peaceful. They're on a cliff kissing. They're walking hand in hand, barefoot on the sand. Uh, they're having fun, smiling, laughing. Where is the evil there? Uh, you know, they're not hurting each other. They're not uh, tearing up anything. They're not destroying anything. They're not burning anything down. Where is the evil? But supposedly these beings are all over the whole planet. There's an expression ruling the entire inhabited Earth. Well, that's an inhabited part of the Earth, all these beaches. And it's showing all these different ones, and I don't see anything bad going on there. And then, they also say they're manipulating governments. Well, are governments today, uh, like, killing all their people? Uh, look at the United States government. Are they uh, ruining our lives? Is it a tyranny? Um, I don't really believe it is. Now, um, I'm wondering, you know, if this is all true, why is the world not worse? Why is there order in cities? Um, of course, there are some bad elements, but that's not the majority of people. Probably most are hardworking people every day. Um, probably just a very small percentage are the ones doing wrong. You know, um, they somehow can't make it or whatever. Where's the evil there? Why are cities not being destroyed, blown up, um, set on fire, etc.? Now that would seem evil. Why don't we see, like, possessions, like The Exorcist? Oh yeah, there's movies like that, other shows like that. Um, I don't know how you can prove it. I saw a five minute video of someone that seemed to be possessed, which could have just been someone with mental problems. So, you know, it makes me wonder, if that is true, why is the world not worse? Why is it uh, not a place that you cannot find any peace of mind? as evil everywhere you go. So, I begin to question if that is even true. Why, because some guy wrote it a long time ago and it's in a popular book. Um, you know, because uh, Paul or John or whoever wrote it, some guy I don't even know, no, I don't know Moses. I don't know any of these people. Who are they? Um, so, you know, I start to wonder about these claims that religions make. And I kind of feel sorry for the people that devote their lives to religion. And 
maybe they're wasting their life away with it when they could be actually trying to live their life. Um, you know, so, and there's also an idea that there are many false religions that they lead to destruction. They don't lead to heaven. They don't lead to afterlife. They lead to oblivion, maybe resurrection, uh, or something. There's no guarantee, no proof. Some guy wrote it. It became popular. Um, so, you know, I have to wonder. I have to kind of have some skepticism here about these claims. And people fall into cults and things like that, and they turn out bad, a big suicide pact or something. Um, and they think they're going on to something better when they're throwing their life away. <clears throat> you have to wonder about some of these things. Um, so, I wonder what your opinion is of that. I mean, why are there any good people in the world at all? <laughs> 